Are you a good boy? You having fun? That's another bed right there. I mean, there's trails going everywhere, all through these woods. See that all these, all these footprints here, all these footprints here are deer tracks, and they weave their way through all this thick crap, and they love it here. So you can tell it's a deer bed because there's the rim, and it's like a big bowl, and it's melted down. So they've definitely bedded here. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am out with Sir Rugus Tugus, Butt Badugus, first of his name, stealer of sticks, ruiner of ponchos, and rolliest of pulleys. And uh, we're gonna spend another night out here in the woods. So I don't know if you can tell by now, if the camera picks it up or not, but it's snowing. And it's not your normal snow. It's not, uh, you know, a light, fluffy, gonna accumulate a ton, snow it's a w-h-e-t wet snow <laughs> so that means the air temperature is right at 32 degrees or zero celsius is right at freezing and that means everything else is kind of above freezing just a little bit I, I would say so it's all melting and it's just wet that's why rug's got the poncho on uh i've got my rain gear on but it's going to get kind of soaked and saturated it's going to be a wet one it's it's not the most ideal thing but this has been the weirdest winter so far. And the other thing is, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of thick in here. This is one of the joys of going to a new spot and finding spots uh, when you just, you know, just head on in there. I thought it was gonna be more open maple stand like I like, but uh, it's very thick and there's a lot of ton of young growth and tiny trees. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, set down the pack and uh, there's deer trails everywhere. There's sign for deer all over. So I'm gonna set on the pack and I'm going to follow one of these deer trails for a bit here and just leave this stuff here and see if we can find a nice open spot. Cause I found a few spots, but there's just like right here, this would be a good, good spot, except it's just a big lump. It's a big mess. So anyways, yeah, I'm gonna look for a spot. We're gonna try to make a nice little shelter with a tarp and uh, cook up some delicious food over a campfire so, Rose, let's find a spot. Come on, we're gonna leave this stuff behind because I'm sick of dragging it right now through this thick crap. Okay, let's go this way. Come on. This is the other problem I have with this type of weather is look at the balls on this guy. Uh, oh, I'm 
so sorry. I mean, look at this. Oh, no, Rugs. Oh, come here. All right, oh, oh, Rugs. See, this happens when uh, the snow is just sticky. This isn't the worst I've seen. Ruger's snowballs are getting out of control. Gosh, Rugs, come here, buddy. Oh my gosh, he can barely, oh no, you poor thing. All right. This is gonna be our spot for the evening. Took a little bit longer than expected because it's so thick and whatnot. But uh, we finally broke through the super thick crap and it opened up into a more reasonable forest. The forest was being a little unreasonable back there. Oh. But good news is I can see plenty of nice firewood all over. I mean, it's just so delicious. It just looks so delicious. I just wanna saw it up, saw it up into nice little pieces and burn it. So, with that being said, since of course we got a little bit of a late start, we've got, oh, you know, less than an hour of sunlight left, so we've got to get to move in. So what we're gonna do is use these two trees here. Um, I'm thinking since we got a wet snow, we're gonna wanna frame this tarp with a few logs. So we're gonna cut a nice little ridge pole here secure that, get two logs to go down the sides, and then lay our tarp over that. I wanted to do it kind of skinnier this way today and do my tarp wider so that we have more like wind protection and snow and we can kind of hunker into it a little better. So, first things first, let's get a few logs. Hey, Rose. Yeah. Yeah, Rose. So I know I got these snowshoes on, but uh, well, Spoiler alert, I don't really need them. We've got, let's get a measurement on the snow here. Here, it's right here is to ground. It goes right up to this line. I would say six inches of snow, about up to here on the snowshoe. There ain't much snow. I don't really need the snowshoe. It's kind of just to make a nice trail for my sled to glide on and uh, it'll be easier finding our way back tomorrow through all this thick crap just to follow the trail. Even if it gets snow, um, even when there's heavy snowfall and you make a trail with your snowshoes, you can still see the divot and the indent of your snowshoes so it's really easy to follow your trail right back out. So I don't really need these. Right there. Right there. Okay, so since that late start, Mr. Rooks, We've got to hustle, buddy. We gotta do the hustle. Hey, come here. Come here, Roops. You got all sorts of snowballs on you. Got a nice dead one right here. Watch out, Rubes. Come over here. Come over here. Come here. Come here. I don't want you getting crushed. All right. Oh, Rubes, that's poop. No, that's poop. Don't eat poop. Gross. There's deer poop right here. All right. This one should just need a little, little persuasion. A little bit more persuasion. Hey, Rubes, get over here. Hey, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, Mr. Balls. Come here, Mr. Balls. All right, all right, all right. Stay there, stay there. Stay, stay. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. 
Good job, Bruce. We just need a section for a ridge pole to start. And then we will go from there. And since we're pretty close to camp, we are gonna grab this afterwards. So let's get a nice section here. So there's this old rule that I usually, I usually use when I'm doing construction, measure twice, cut once, but we're just gonna, we're gonna put that rule off to the side for a minute here. We're just gonna guesstimate. You know, we're not gonna take our own advice. We're just gonna say that this looks good. Okay, now let's see if we did a good job or a bad job. Let's see, Rugs. It's I. Uh, I'm a little nervous. Oh! Measure twice, cut once. Let's just not measure at all. Oh! It doesn't fit. That's what I get for not following my own advice. Well, luckily, we've got an abundance of materials to choose from. I've got a nice dead stander here. I've got a nice little skinny dead stander here. Ah. And then I've got a nice dead leaner here. That one's pretty straight. That one's gonna come down easy. And then I got another nice dead stander right here. So, let's just bring him around town, bring him down and stop being a clown. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Let's just give her some safety wax. Alright Rooves, you gotta go over there. Come over here. Go, 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 go. Yeah, go. That's good. That's good, okay. See, one good thing to notice is I was chopping right here. And when I pushed on the tree, it broke here at the rotten, rotten bottom. Now I was chopping some solid maple there and uh, just wasting energy. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta try pushing these over instead of just starting to hit them with my axe. you for huh what what do I even need this thing for all right Rubes let's bring these back to camp oh. oh oh yeah that was rough eh Rubes
take the old fail ridge pole and use this as a measuring device for the new one. So we'll see. Okay. So now, right there. And we've got, see this one was just barely not long enough. So we're gonna give it an extra two feet. Some nice solid firewood. Okay. Let's just see how tall this is in relation to me. So I'm about six, six and a half feet tall. So I'm gonna say that that's roughly, that's roughly 10 feet. This is roughly 10 feet tall, so that's perfect because I need another couple pieces for my tarp, so we're going to cut those quick. Because like I said, it's a wet, sticky uh, snow, so I want to run two poles, and I want to make them roughly the same size as my tarp so that my tarp goes all the way to the ground and meets the snow. So we have air rushing through. I mean, it's not really windy today. Yeah, it's, you can hear a little wind swirling, but it's just coming straight down for the most part. Right, Rugs? All right, so we're gonna measure. That'll work right there. And these don't need to be super thick. I might have, I probably should have made them a little longer. Now that I'm thinking about it. You know what? We're just going to go with it and uh, just see what happens. In the spirit of not measuring twice and cutting a bunch, we're just going to go with the flow. We'll make this one a little bit longer so it can overhang. Okay. Let's set up some spots. You know, I always like to say, when you're out here camping and you got a late start, you need to get things done. You always want to make sure to give yourself more obstacles to deal with because that's, you know, my favorite obstacle is the dang rat's nest. You know, Get it. Nope, still tangled. You know, you'd think just pulling on it over and over again would just make it come apart, but it doesn't. This is to practice my problem solving skills. That's all this is. I do it on purpose, because I like to, you know, troubleshoot while I'm out here, and it just keeps my brain working, you know? Oh, we just, we just got so much paracord. We got a whole 10 feet. Oh man, oh man. Okay, there's another strip. There's another strip. Just take this and go like this and stuff it back into the bag like we found it. Perfect. Okay. Now that the sun's probably setting, let's get, let's get this set up. Made it extra long this time. I'm gonna start on this end, and we're gonna use the old arbor knot to uh, secure this. Don't even tell me I didn't make it long enough. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. 
even think about saying, oh no, uh oh. Oh phew, this one's long enough. That's good. Anyways, yeah, the old Arbor Knot. We're gonna get this a little bit higher. And I will show that knot in a second, because I'm gonna use the same knot for all these. Okay, on that side, we'll just hold it up here. We're gonna go a little bit higher, because it's gonna settle. Okay, even though we don't need it, we're always gonna do our little ridge pull test. If you can do some pull-ups on it, it should be sturdy. And I'm kinda bouncing. My torso's too tall to go all the way to the ground. Okay, now, let's lay on our other pieces and see what those look like. gonna set these like this a little bit wider let's see if we're sleeping like this you're gonna be fine my face is gonna be right next to this tarp roots So we're gonna push this a little closer to the edge. That should be pretty good. <clears throat> All right, now let's show you this knot here. All right, let's see, where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you got your piece of rope here, okay? On one end, you're just gonna do a little overhand knot thingy, tighten it up, okay? Step one, then just above that, you're gonna do the same thing except you're not gonna tighten it up. You're gonna leave it loose like that. So we've got the tighten knot here and the loose thing right here. And then we're just gonna put this over the log. You're gonna go over, around, whatever you wanna go through, and you're gonna put your rope back through this little loose thing right here. And then what it's gonna do is this, as this tightens, it's gonna catch on this and you're able to cinch it down as tight as you want. So you just work it nice and slow. And then it gets nice and tight. Oop, it's gonna move our ridge pole, but you can really, you can really pull as tight as you want. The only reason I'm not pulling super tight is because my ridge pole is gonna shift around if I just, you know, well, if I rip pull down, it won't. But if I'm pulling to the side, it will. So yep, and then you just put a few knots through there to secure it. And that is the arbor knot. I'm notorious for extremely good explanations of how to tie knots. So I hope that was in the top 10 explanations. I mean, see how it's, it's pretty close because I, I measured once. I didn't measure really, I just kind of cut it. But, all right, we're gonna do the same thing on the other one. Hi, buddy. Hi. The sun's settling. So Ruger here, you may be wondering, oh, is he getting cold, whatnot? Not really. See, with Monty, when I took him out last, we were just car camping, so he didn't get to run around like Rugs did today. And uh, Rugs is just constantly moving around. Uh, yeah, just getting, we're gonna turn this around. You know, just getting warmed up, so he's fine. He wants me to throw the stick, which we will soon. I just gotta get set up here, and it's getting dark. Luckily, I've got tons of firewood right here. We've got this all set up. We just gotta throw up the tarp and uh, cut up some firewood and we can do everything else in the dark. Oh yeah, Rooks, what do I got here, huh? Oh hey, what's this, Rooks? It's another rat's nest. This can go. Let's just see how much room we got on each side.
Okay, so so far, what I've got here is not the best thing in the world. It'll work once I tie these up here. I gotta, I gotta bring this up. So I gotta, this needs to come up and get tied tight, and then this will be good. So what I did, what my mistake was, believe it or not, was not making these long enough. And it's funny because I've set this up before, but not since last year. Never mind. Let's just moving on. Moving on. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to move forward. We're going to forget about the mistakes we may or may not have made. And we're going to just adapt. We're just going to deal with the situation I put myself in. Got a late start dinking around too much, not measuring, and uh, we're going to be just fine. We could be better probably, but we're going to be fine. Oh, and now all of a sudden it feels like the wind's coming from this way. Perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what we want, Rooks. Alright, so we got to adjust this whole thing. This is tight. This is real tight. All right, what do we got down here? Okay. Oh yeah, this will work. Hey, what was I even talking about? So what's gonna happen is uh, if the snow sags too much, it gets too heavy, it's gonna lay on these poles here. And since I made them too short, it's probably gonna end up laying on my face. But that's okay. That'll be all right. If it lays on my face, so be it. I'll be in my sleeping bag anyways. Okay. So what we've got to do now is I've got to just tie something to the back here and then we're done setting up. Okay. We've got our makeshift little shelter, Rooks. Now it's time to get Rooks. <laughs> Just get this under here. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to deal with all this. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna get Mr. Rugus here a nice stick. Yeah, because he wants that's all he's wanted to do from the get-go. I just wanted to get set up. Alright, there is that the stick rugs. So right here we've got the chosen stick of the rugs. And now, since he's gonna want to play with this all night, I need to find him a safe path or he can run into the night and not get injured. So, let's let's walk a path here, Rooks. A safe path for you. Ready, Rooks? Ready? You ready? You little cutie pie? You little cutie pie? <laughs> so this, this poncho was sent to us by a subscriber and uh, Ruger was not happy putting it on in the house. He wouldn't move at first, but you got to find out what he likes the most. And that's frisbee and being outside. And right here, Rooks. We taught him this the last time we went camping. Good boy. I taught him to put the stick right in my hands. Okay, so we're going to be sitting here. And we're gonna have our fire right here. Oh, jeez. Like I said, we're gonna have our fire right here. Right here. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be right here now. Right, right here. This little spot. That's where it's gonna be. Because this thing ain't moving. That's okay. All right, night is definitely settling in. It's definitely getting dark. Uh, it's still snowing. It's not crazy. It's just a very light, wet snow. A light, wet snow. Yeah, I can still feel it on my face. Um, it's still gonna get us wet, but it's nothing, nothing like they forecasted, of course. <laughs> so uh, 
what we're going to do since night is settling in is I'm going to chop a bunch of firewood. I'm going to do all big long pieces and we're just going to burn them in half. That'll save on time and work. And uh, yeah, we're going to get a fire going. Then once the fire is going, I'm going to smooth this out and get us our sleep stuff set up. And then we're going to start relaxing. So Rooks needs some help finding a stick. All right. Oh my gosh. Look at this Rooks. Jeez, Rugs. Get it. Come on. Get it, Rugs. Get it. Oh, yeah. Come on. Arr. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Get it, Rugs. Get it. Come on. Come on. Arr. Come on. You want Carter? Oh, yeah. Oh, you want to go, huh? Yeah. Come on. Oh, fine. You just want me to throw it, huh? Okay. Firewood type. Almost took out the camera. Bring it here. Yeah, bring it here. Yeah. Thank you for the stick. Here you go. Whoa. Okay, so me and Rubes had a little walk around to gather up little sticks for the fire and birch bark. And there are no, no birch bark trees around. So, and everything else is wet. So what we're gonna have to do is split some wood to get to these dry centers for our kindling. So I'm gonna make a flat spot here on this to uh oh rugs you're fine so i can split some wood if you want me to throw it you gotta bring it here rugs i ain't coming to you you bring it right here you bring it right here right here right here bring it right here that's a good boy okay go ahead be careful mister all right so I've got some little pieces to cut up here. I didn't cut up all my wood, but I got it up to make a fire. So we're gonna get some dry centers going. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're gonna save that one to start the fire on. And then we'll just keep, how do we go on here? I didn't cut it too straight apparently. Well, it's got a check mark. See that little split? Oh, see how easy that was? That was wonderful. I'm just gonna do it like this. That's easy. Okay, I'm gonna keep, keep that dry as possible. That'll be some firewood. I did not cut these with a straight edge. Like 
like this. It's splitting so easily. I, I'm not even putting any effort. That's how seasoned it is. I got a nice sharp ax. It's just, I'm not even putting any effort into it. I'm just gonna split up a few more pieces here and then we're gonna create some feather sticks and get this fire going. It's so easy. <laughs> I'm just gonna let the, the ax fall with its own weight and see if it splits it. Nope, it didn't. Let's try it one more time from up here. It's not, it's not working like I planned. I was hoping it would just look cool and just like work perfectly. All right, well, here we go again, weight of the ax. All right, we're just gonna lift it up and let it fall. Dang it, just do what I want you to do to look cool. <sighs> Being difficult. One more try, one more try. We're gonna do just a little, here we go, dropping it. See, that counted. Hey, way to the X, cut that right off, perfect. Exactly what I was going for. Okay, let's make some feather sticks here. perfect stick for it. Got it. I don't like this stick. It's got a nice knot right where I'm trying to carve the feather stick into. Oh, I'm a bit rusty on these, hey? I think we're gonna need to start practicing these a little bit more. I think we're gonna get the job done, just not super efficiently. Try to get them a little bit lighter. Let's see if we can use just these two feather sticks to get this thing started. All right, we'll set that down just like that. Okay, I've got a bundle of, I've I got a little bit of sticks. These are a little wet, and then I've got these ones that I split, these nice little kinning pieces. Those should burn right up. The only gamble we're taking is that this is enough feather sticks to spark all that, which is, I'd say we got a 50-50 chance of it working out. Let's see if I got any birch bark in here, just to be sure. Check the old pockets, nope. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Oh, this, this fire steel has seen better days. Oh, 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 almost. There's a very good chance that this just might not be enough. We're gonna try that way. Oh, we've almost got flamage. Yeah, we're gonna need more feather sticks, I'm thinking. At this point, we're just being stubborn. 
Right, we're gonna try one more fire steel real quick, just to be sure. That fire steel was a little too short for my liking. This is the dangerous moment. Do we have enough dry little pieces to keep this thing going? Enough little teeny kindling. Ooh, dangerous. There's a point when you're building a fire that you know it's not gonna go out, and we're not quite there yet on this one. It's getting there, but we still gotta keep baby in it. do its thing for a minute should be good to go there we go that's what I like to see all right so now when it the fire gets like this and it's just like billowing up and you can tell all your insides are getting caught I know that it's not gonna go out for pretty much anything unless I push it over because we don't have any coals built yet so now we just gotta let it do its thing for a minute and once these start to get pretty well burning, then I can start laying on wet crap and uh, go from there. Because everything else is wet. I'm gonna split a few more pieces to pile on here. It's okay, Rubes, I'll throw it for you, okay? And then yeah, so it's almost almost to the point where it, we can just start throwing on wet crap, but not quite yet. just killed my fire. I might have killed my fire. I don't know. I think it's going to make it, but that was... I made a mistake. Well, that was close. I 
just uh, I laid some sticks on it, and it was the snow was keeping it up, so I just pushed, and it, it smashed my fire. That's gonna make it. Now that a fire that ain't going out for anything. I smashed it down, and it recovered. But I've got like I'm doing like a it almost looks like a number sign. I've got three logs one way, three more the other way, three the other way, and they're all wet and they are burning just fine. So now I can pile any sort of snow covered wet log on there and it's gonna burn. right at me. He just never stops. But I've got a secret weapon. I sure do, Rooks. There you go. I'm gonna bust out that secret weapon soon. We just gotta get some oh, sleep stuff set up. So this is a, this should be a stark contrast to the last time I went winter camping with Mr. Monty and we were car camping. We got roughly started about the same time or I left the I got to the woods roughly the same time, and uh, yeah, that time I didn't really hike in. I just left, you know, go outside the car, and I was set up within, you know, leaving the, getting everything out of the car, I would say 25 minutes max, we were all set up and ready to go. It did not take long. Uh, this time took much longer, because, you know, we were hiking through that thick crap. I'm not even sure how far, but we didn't go too far. I don't even think, I don't even think we went a mile today. Um, but yeah, that thick crap slowed us down, and then, you know, looking around for a spot, finally got to this clearing, then making mistakes with cutting the logs, blah, 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 yada, yada. We didn't get, we got a fire. I hear ya. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it, okay? I'll throw you the stick, but you bring it to my feet. See, isn't that better? And you don't need to whine at me. Jeez. Anyways, we didn't get the fire started today till dark. And last time I got it started like an hour or so before dark. So that just shows you. I haven't got any sleep stuff set up. We don't got anything, you know, all purdied up in here. So let's get to some of that. Roofs, I'm going to throw the sick for you one more time and then I've got to get camp set up. And then we're going to bust out our secret weapon. Which I'm sure some people got a good guess. That's where you're going to go. All right, Rogues. Time to bust out the secret weapon. Yeah, you little cutie pie. Oh, you're so wet. You're so wet. Okay, come over here. Let's take off a few things for you, okay? Up, 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 up. Okay, let's just, let's, we're gonna get you all cozied up. It's time to simmer it down. You got to play, you got to chew up endless amounts of sticks. You got to be the full rogues. All right, stay there. Stay there. Up, up, up there. There you go. Let's get this out. Here. So let's get this one out right here. Okay. We got the evil poncho. Ah, uh, fruits. Okay, good boy. Let's see. Oh yeah, you're nice and dry. You're nice and dry. All right, come here. Okay, come here. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. All right, we got some. We got some big balls on the rooks here. Ooh, these are. These are not. This is not good. We're gonna have to get those off, rooks. All right, but first off, take these off for now. Some of these off, okay? 
I've got a little something for you, Mr. Rubes. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get it out here. Okay, so the trick to getting any of your dogs to just sit down and relax where you want them to sit down is a good old fashioned raw venison bone, huh? What do you think about that there, big guy? Good boy, go ahead, yeah, go ahead. He might want to take it and move, but I'm gonna make him stay under here. And we're gonna wrap him in a blankie and get him to chillax for now. All right, okay. Now we just gotta watch our rugs, because rugs will eat that entire thing, the whole bone, everything. And if he eats the whole bone, I'm not, he's, th this is what he gets for tonight. So I'm gonna get him a proper sleeping pad set up. We'll move him to that and then we'll get a blankie on him. But he, he should be pretty good with relaxing now. Jeez, Rooks, he is just crunching that thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Rooks. He is just, well, that's all he's going to need for tonight. There's that other one. All right, Rooks, come here, give me here, give me here. Give me this, no, 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 leave it, leave it, leave it. All right, go ahead and get it, hey, go ahead. I gotta fix up your spot anyways. Oh, well you can take it there for a second. I'm gonna make you bring it back. Okay, well, let's get. Bring it here. Bring your treat. Bring it over here. Bring it here, Roots. Bring it here, Roots. Bring it here. Bring it here. Bring it. Bring it here. Bring it here, Roots. Bring it here. Right here. Up, up. Bring it here, Roots. Bring it. Lay it down. Bring it. Go on. Lay it down. Go on. Lay it down. Lay it down. Okay. I'm going to scoot your butt. I'm going to scoot your butt. Don't worry. Okay, now we've got our rugs settling a little bit. I anticipated our rugs being a little more unruly than our Monty. And in the beginning it was true. He was a little bit more, you know, he, well he wants to play stick. Ruger's, Ruger's a go, go, go kind of guy. And uh, I brought out three towels for him because I figured he was gonna be getting wet and making me use them a bunch. So we're just gonna keep them dry as best we can. Look at that, I'm just putting the towel over his face. He doesn't even care. 
he could care less. He's got a raw venison bone right now. So we're gonna dry him out. And I brought two wool blankets for him. So I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but this is Ruger's first time winter camping under a tarp. The last time he was out winter camping, I believe, was when he got into a boxing match with, with old Mont Stinky. Hey Ruger, don't my little blooties look like boxing gloves? Get back over here, fight like a man. Stop it! So I brought him out two wool blankets on top of that because I do not want the Ruger to get cold. He is he does not have the coat like Monty. So we gotta watch our rugs and make sure he stays nice and toasty. Gotta keep him dry, tucked in, as still as we can. We'll probably put a sleeping bag draped over him soon here, but right now he's gonna be working on that bone, so we don't wanna get the sleeping bag covered in raw meat. The sleeping pad I can deal with, I mean, I've done it multiple times, but the sleeping bag, I don't know. I'd rather have meat smell on the sleeping pad. He's got some crazy eyes going on. Yeah, but uh, definitely some snow building up here. But we're gonna survive the night. That's always, that's always the best part, you know? Yeah, it, my shelter may not be perfect. It's it's never really perfect ever. They're never perfect, but they're perfect enough. They'll get you through the night. I mean, this is gonna keep snow off of this is gonna keep snow off of us, and uh, we're gonna be warm and dry all through the night. So yeah, it's gonna serve its purpose. Anyways, he's gonna munch on that bone. I'm gonna keep him dry. I'm gonna set up all my sleep stuff and uh, just relax. And uh, yeah, I don't mind that it's kind of late because that means as soon as I'm done setting up, we can we can get start cooking pretty soon here. You know, crazy how wet it is for the middle of January. I mean, close to this time two years ago, we had four feet of snow. Now we got six inches. I mean, what the heck's going on? All right. I'm gonna set some stuff up. I'll check back with you guys a little bit here. Ugh. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, 
we got a little brewski. Oh, we got a red thing. I've been listening to Mr. Ruger here enjoy his bone for what feels like an eternity. What do we got here on time? Uh, maybe an hour? I don't know. He's a uh, Definitely a warm little hot pocket. I got both wool blankets on them. I've got layers on for me, all my sleep stuff set up. We've got a ripping hot fire. We are just relaxing. The snow is still coming down. It's just not accumulating like crazy. I mean, it's been snowing this whole time, but it's just a wet. It's finally starting to sound frozen. So it's been just wet this whole time. And I'm, I'm not really seeing any accumulation. For how much it's snowing which is crazy not what a weird winter i mean we're just not gonna have much snow this winter i guess unless we get some crazy storms um i was planning on doing some building this week with the old roofs here we'll probably still get to that maybe next week do something cool but uh i saw i was gonna go out earlier and do that but i saw that there was a potential snowstorm so i was like all right let's wait and see it looked pretty good up until we got out here and then it just warmed up and just is wet. It's still coming down, don't get me wrong. It's just not accumulating. It's not that fluffy frozen snow, it's that wet snow, that W-H-E-T, wet, wet snow. <sighs> Ooh, oh yeah. So, I'm starting to get hungry. Um, so one thing I want to address really quick, I talk about this sometimes, sometimes I don't, but we're going to bring it up right now. Why am I so far away from the fire? Fire's over there, I can't really feel it from over here, and I'm sitting under my tarp. So like I said, it's a wet snow. I don't want to get snowed on and be next to the fire and it melt, and then I just get even further soaked. So that's why me and Rugs are back here under the tarp, staying out of the wet snow and away from the fire. Like there's a some slight radiant heat we could feel from here, but it's nothing crazy. It's nothing that you'd warm up next to. But uh, the way I combat that is I have enough layers on to where I'm fine. You know, I've got uh, two layers of thermals, tops and bottoms, and then I've got my old stinky ratty flannel all under this got some gloves on hat i'm good and uh you know I'm, i've just been sitting here so the other thing is is uh no matter what the temperature is whether it's 30 degrees out 10 degrees out or negative 10 degrees out i always bring the same layers the only difference i do is the colder it gets the more i move and the closer i'll get to the fire so if it were warm, if, if it were cold enough for this snow to not be wet, and if it was like 10 degrees, um, I would definitely be closer to the fire, and the snow wouldn't, it'd still melt, but it wouldn't just hit me and be wet, it'd be frosty snow, you know, and if it's negative 10, I'm gonna be real close to that fire, and that fire's gonna be hot, or I'll just be moving a lot. I'm either gonna be moving or next to a really hot fire. And that's just pretty much how you stay warm. You keep moving, and if you're not moving, you better have a hot fire and a good amount of layers on. And that's just the way it is. I do a lot of moving for the most part, though. But uh, the only worry I've got with Rugs here chewing on this bone is it's it's got a little sharp piece on the, the bone that he chewed off. He's going to town on it. And uh, I'm just worried he's going to like puncture the sleeping pad with it. And we're going for no pop sleeping pads 2021, so I don't want him to do that. But watching him just enjoy this bone so much, he's just been eating the bone, doing his favorite thing, chewing on a bone. He, he enjoys these bones more than Monty. Monty loves the bones, don't get me wrong. They, they love them equally, but Monty won't chew it to get that uh, bone marrow out like Rugs will. Rugs is occupied by these way longer. He gets every scrap but anyways, watching him chewing that bone is starting to make me hungry. So we're going to start making some dinner here. And what we are making for dinner today is a double bacon cheeseburger with all the fixings. 
and some grilled potatoes. We are grilling out today. That's right. Sounds good. Oh! Oh! Echo! Oh! It's kind of echoey. Oh! 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 He doesn't care. It's echoey out there. Anyways, uh, we got a ripping hot coal bed. I'm going to get some food prepared here and we're going to get to cooking because I'm getting hungry. And I want a double bacon cheeseburger with all the fixings and some grilled potatoes right now. So let's do it. Rugs. Rugs. What do you got there? <laughs> this is what's left of Rugs bone. Yeah. Rooks, hey, can I have that? Can I have this? Is this is it okay if I have this? Or do you want it? Okay, you can have it. You can have it. You can finish it up there. Yeah, you're enjoying that, huh? So uh Rooks is just gonna he I was gonna cook out the bone marrow if he didn't destroy this, but since he ate this whole thing, he's not getting much with dinner. <laughs> he's getting a light dinner because he ate that entire thing and it was just Oh man, Rugs. Okay, let's prepare some stuff. The first thing we've got is a potato. And we're gonna cut this long ways into nice potato slices. Now, I might have gone a little thick there, but that's okay. That's what happens sometimes. Okay. Those are dull, I'll set these off to the side. And then of course we've got an onion, the white onion. We're just gonna take a nice middle piece just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna save the rest of this for home, but all we need is this right here, that beautiful slab of white onion. Let's put this back in the... What we're gonna do with this white onion is we're gonna grill it. So what I like to do is take four toothpicks and poke it in. Like that, and this will keep all those onion rings together when you're grilling. Now I've don't, I haven't cooked it like this over the fire before. I've done it on the grill. So we'll see. But there we go. The onion is ready. I wasn't recording that whole time. What did I do? I, I sliced up some nice slabs of tomato. Ah, uh, I got Ruger's sweet potato all cut up. Dang it, I always do that. And then of course for a bacon cheese, we're the last thing since we got all that prepared is some bacon. Okay. Um, this is covered in bacon grease. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, for the potatoes here, these grilled potatoes here are my parents' famous potatoes, okay? They're very simple. All you do is you take your potatoes, slice them up just like that. I usually go a little bit thinner, but we're cooking over the fire, this will be hot. And a little bit of oil, canola oil, vegetable oil. I'm using olive oil, I'm gonna put it in so I'm gonna do it all in this bag so it doesn't make a big mess. A little bit of olive oil in there. And then we're gonna coat these potatoes in the olive oil. There we go. Get them, get them coated in there. Okay, and then the last step to these famous grilled potatoes is of course, Montreal steak seasoning. The greatest spice known to man. We'll put that in there, and then we're gonna coat these. Now I would normally just do this in a bowl or something, but you know we're out here in the woods, and uh, I don't want to get oil all over everything. Oh, the it turns out the Montreal is sticking to the sides of the bag, so we might have to recoat these when they come out with Montreal, but they still got oil on them. Okay, so 
Now let's get everything on the fire and get to cooking. That's what we need to do next. Oh, all right. We have got a very hot coal bed here. Ooh, geez. Oh, that's what happens when you grab a log that's a coal. You burn your fingers. Well, geez. That was fun. That was real fun. Yeah, that'll wake you up. Let's just, let's just get this all. So we gotta have cooking coals. And then we gotta keep the fire going. So let's take a majority of these coals, scrape them over here, and then we'll put this guy here. Oh, that's, the coals are hot. Oh, jeez. Who would have thunk? Oh, that is, that is a hot fire. Okay, all right. All right, so for cooking today, we do not have the great grate. We do not have the not so great grate. We have this grate. That's what we're calling it, this grate. This was sent to me by a subscriber. I have actually, I, I think I've only have used it maybe once over the fire, but it's, oh no, I just broke it. Why? <laughs> no. Oh, jeez. Well, what the heck? Okay, we've got it to the point where it's gonna, it's gonna do its job. Just enough, we're gonna be very gentle with it. So one thing we've learned about this grate is that you can't, beat on it because these are just poked into like a little indent oh. so they, I just popped them right out we gotta get these potatoes growing on here oh they're coated in Montreal let's get this big one over here in the corner okay potatoes are on now we gotta grill these up first, and we're gonna get our bacon on here as well. Bacon going on. Oh, that's a hot fire. We'll see how this goes. I have a feeling these toothpick ends are gonna burn. So we need to sink them in here a little bit more. Oh, the smoke is killing me. Oh, jeez. Okay, we got rouge potatoes. All right, we're cooking. Hi, puppy, hi. Hi, little turd guy. Oh, you're, you're a good boy. You're a good boy, isn't that? Oh, Bruce, oh, is that a good boy? Oh, is that a good boy? Yo, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it is. Oh, is it, good? Is it a good boy? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, you know you're a good boy. Oh, do you like that butt rub? Oh, is it, are you getting angry about the butt rub? Getting angry about that butt rub? Brooks! Brooks! What? What is it? Oh, does that feel good? Oh, yeah. Alright, sounds like my food is sizzling. Too much here. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's. Well, that's gonna be some crispy potato. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to just keep a little bit better. Oh, my gosh. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Well the onion's not getting it too bad. We might need to move this off the heat a little bit. The bacon here. We're just gonna grill these for another second and move them off to the side. This is a hot fire. Great A hot fire. We've got, I've got the potatoes moved off way to the side here. This one's on top of this one because it got pretty cooked, I'd say. See, that's what it's supposed to look like. That right there. That's this is perfectly what we want. This, yeah, well, it, you know, yeah, hot fire. That's what that means. Hot fire. Look at our onion here. Ooh, that's getting nice and done. I got this little. 
crispy potato off to the side. We just don't want, well it's a little too crispy right there. There's two things we don't want. Overly burnt potatoes, which we already have. And then secondly, underdone potatoes. Scooch over, Kate. Uh. Yo, what are you? Hey, Rooks, what's this? Give me a kiss. Give me, give me, give me. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Mm. That's a good boy. Yeah. Look at you. Now, who would have thought that we would have Rooks here? Just completely chilling like this in winter. I wouldn't have thought it, but here he is. Now, of course, he would love to uh, P L A Y with the S T I C K. I think he almost understands what I'm saying. D O Y O U. U-N-D-E-R-S-T-A-N-D-M-E question mark. I'm a little worried that you do. Don't be that smart, please. No, you just relax. We're going to get you dinner, okay? But yeah, Ugh. he is just chilling. He is being a good boy. He is nestling up. He is just kind of dozing off. I think a key thing with Monty here that I've learned, well, well, Something I've learned bringing Rugs out is that putting this wool blanket down on the sleeping pad to keep it from getting wet and kind of soaking up any moisture, and then putting the other one on top of him is real comfy. Rugs just, he's just cleaning his paws from all the meat sauce or whatever on there. And now I've got his sleeping bag on him, so he is just nestled comfy. There's no way he's cold. This is a zero degree synthetic. He is a dog with fur on a sleeping pad with a thermal sleeping pad underneath that, two wool blankets, I'm not worried. And I think he seems to be enjoying himself and I'm just surprised that I've got a set. I thought Monty was the only one that would just, just relax like this, but he's showed he is up for the task. All right, Rogues? Yeah, you sure are. He had a fulfilling day. Oh, it's still growing. Keep this over here. And then the bacon. This is almost done. Once We're going to put this here for a minute. What we're going to do is just finish cooking this up quick, give it a few minutes, and then we're going to throw on our burgers and get those cooking. So the last step of this whole thing is to get our burgers cooked. So let's create some fresh coals. Ugh, hot fire. So what I've done this time that I didn't do normally or in the past is that I preformed the patties and wrapped them in parchment paper so that they would just, I would not need to really touch them much, if at all and just slap them on there. Oh, that's hot fire. Okay. I'm gonna do a final little sprinkle of Montreal because I like a little Montreal on my burgers. So do it on one side here. That's a hot fire. Oh, jeez. Okay. There's a little Montreal on the burger. There we go. Okay. There it is, Rogues. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh. Hey Rubes, are you are you chilling right now? What do you think, Rubes? Do 
you want a treat? Okay, I will prepare for you. You get ready to eat it. You look pretty comfy right now. You look pretty relaxed. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying that you look relaxed. You look like you could doze off at any moment. You look like you are in the process of dozing off. Yeah, that's a that's a ruse. It's like dozing off. Oh yeah. Okay, there he goes. Oh, there we go. There's the color we're looking for. A little char on there. Okay, these don't need much longer. It is time to get the last final steps and get prepared for this feast. Okay, all right, these potatoes can go off to the side here. These are done. This onion is pretty much done. Let's get it going. Okay, what we've gotta do here is dangerous, but we've gotta pile on this bacon right on to here. Mm. We had to eat a piece. Okay. And then what we've got here is that good old fashioned crappy American cheese. I don't use it on much, but when I'm making cheeseburgers, I use it. I like its meltiness. Put that over that bacon right there. And then of course we've got to toast our bun. Oh yeah. Get that bun a little bit toasted. Once this cheese is melted and this bun is toasted, we are putting it all together and eating it. Oh yeah, let's get to it. Now I'm not sure what order you're supposed to do your burger in for a professional, uh, you know, burger putter together, but we're gonna just put it together in the order that I see fit. So what we've got there is our perfectly toasted bun. We're gonna just lay a bed of romaine lettuce on the bottom. On top of that, we're gonna just put these two tomatoes, and I'm just gonna eat this one right now. Mm. On top of that, I've got some dill pickle chips. I'm throwing on there. Is this gonna be a mess? Yes. Am I going to eat it all? Yes. Do I care? Absolutely not. Okay, we've got that on there. Next, we're gonna take the toothpicks out of our grilled onion and slop that on right there. Oh yeah, just like that. Next, we're going to pile on our double patties. Oh, this is this is not looking good. <laughs> this is not going to stay together. <laughs> oh man. With the bacon and the cheese all on there. I definitely did the order wrong, but that's okay. That's neither here nor there. I mean, it is here. Because I want all the fixins. I've got a mixture, I guess. Well, it was separate. But we've got mayo and ketchup right here. Slap that on there. There we go. Put that on the bun. Then of course, I wouldn't feel right if I didn't put mustard on there. I like mustard. And then we're gonna slap this on top, making this a six inch tall double bacon cheeseburger. Let's just get a side shot of that before it falls apart. This thing, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. Our grilled potatoes on that plate. And one final thing that has to go with my parents' famous grilled potatoes, sour cream. You got to have the sour cream with these grilled potatoes. Oh yeah, okay.
gross. Let's eat. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Oh man, I'm so excited to eat this. It's gonna be such a mess, but I do not care. Let's eat, Rooks. Let me just make sure it's not too hot. Okay, there you go, Rooks. Go ahead, get it, get it, Rooks. Oh no, my burger fell apart again. Go ahead, Rooks, get it. There you go, good boy. Oh, my burgers. The tomato is, it's too much. It, it's falling apart. All right, we're gonna hold it together as long as we can. Okay. Okay. I know my hands are about to get real messy. So, take a last sip of beer. This is brewski number two ski, by the way. Let's get this. There's one big bite. I I cannot fit this in my mouth. It's <laughs> it's stacked. All right, we're just gonna do what we can here. Well, this meal's two things. The best burger I've eaten out in the woods. And the messiest meal I've eaten out in the woods. My hands and my face are just a mess. What's about to happen is not something that should be seen by another person. Rooks can see it. Monty occasionally gets to see it, but uh, no more. That's right. We're going to destroy what's left here, and it's not going to be pretty. So I will check back in with you guys when I am done feasting. Oh, heaven to Betsy. Heaven to Betsy. That was delicious and filling and messy. Yeah, I am pretty full right now. Um, I didn't think I was going to be so full off a of one little teeny tiny burger and a, and a potato. I just didn't, I didn't think it, Rooks. Rooks is satisfied. Rooks is chillaxing. But I think we're going to get ready for bed here. Um, we got a bunch of firewood. Well, I mean, we're not going to sleep for a little bit here. We're going to, we're going to stay up for a little bit. But Rooks is, he's definitely sleepy. He's definitely had a fulfilling day. But I know more than anything, he would just love if I threw the stick for him a couple more times.
Oh, but then again, he did just eat that whole meal. He would pr he would love to throw the stick, but I don't like to like. He just feasted. He ate that whole bone, and then he had a sweet potato. Oh yeah, he is just having a good old time, huh? I really want to. T o s s, t h i s, g u y, t h e, s t i c k, b u t, h e, j u s t, a t e, a n d, i, t h i n k, t h a t. W O U L D B E A B A D I D E A B E C U A S E H E H A S A F U L L S T O M A C H E. He just passed out because he just didn't want to follow all that. If you follow all that, good for you. If you didn't, I don't know. I hope I spelled everything right, otherwise I'm just going to look silly. <laughs> but he did not like... See, that, that's exactly what we wanted. We got what we wanted by doing all that. Okay, we're just going to let this firewood burn down. And then... We are going to crawl in our sleeping bags and get ready for bed. Yeah. You need to call you over, huh? You ready for bed? Yeah. Go ahead, lay down. Lay your roots. Stay here. Yeah. Good boy. That was pretty much perfect, except we're going to need to turn you around, okay, Rooks? Right here. No, no, no. Right here, Rooks. Look, look, look. Right here. Rooks, come here. Right here. Right here. Perfect. No, Rooks. <laughs> come on. Rooks, right here. Right here. Lay down, lay down, lay down. Yeah. Perfect. Yes, that's a good boy. Oh, yeah. It. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, we're just going to scoot you back. Oh, yeah. Look at him! Oh yeah, did you, Rooks? Oh gee, yeah, yeah, he's getting in the sleeping bag. Look at him! Oh, that's a good boy. Okay, all right, all right, Rooks, let me, let me zip you up. Okay, hold on. Oh, you're such a good boy. Look at you! Look at you! Who would have thought you'd be in a sleeping bag out in the winter? Who's done this? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jacob boy. This is a good boy. He's gonna take a minute to adjust, but uh yeah, he'll get it. What do you smell, Rugs? <laughs> Look at this doc. This is Rugs' first night where he's sleeping in a sleeping bag. Um, not in a tent. Well, no. When we did the rain, uh, the cold rain we just did, I guess he slept in a sleeping bag. I'm pretty sure I can't, I, I can't remember if he slept in a sleeping bag or not, but I'm pretty sure he did. But, uh, this is his first winter camp under a tarp, not in the hot tent, the coldest weather he's had to sleep in a sleeping bag so far of his life. And he is... I know he's tired. I know he's content. I know he's got all the things he want to do. He's fed. Everything's good. He's pretty much just going to wait on me to turn off the lights. And as soon as I settle down and go to bed, he's going to settle and go to bed. Because this is how he is at home. Um, Monty is very independent and does his own thing. Ruger will follow us around and he will go to bed when we go to bed. He will stay with us until we get up and follow us around the rest of the day. So he is just like waiting for me <laughs> he's waiting for me to lay down he's confused as to why he's he's laying this way right Rogues? oh you're such a good boy we're gonna settle in and get ready for bed and i'm gonna pass out so i'll catch you guys in the morning 
Good night, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> oh, sit down. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, hi. Oh, jeez. Oh, hi. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what's so, 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 so. Simmer down, Rooks. We gotta watch our rooks. Oh jeez, rooks. Come here, rooks. Okay. Oh jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Right, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. <laughs> He's getting in my sleep bag. <laughs> oh, you can give me that butt. Alright, all right. lay down. There we go. There we go. Whoa. He's a wild animal. <laughs> uh, Rooks. Rooks, alright, lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down. Let me just pet you like a normal dog. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 there we go. Oh, yeah, he's happy to be alive. Do we make it through the night, Rooks? Do we make it through the night? Yes, we did. Good boy. Rooks. Do we make it? Did you have fun? Oh, there you go. That, 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 that's a, that's a real great dog. Oh. Oh. Oh, does it feel that good, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Alright. Oh. Well, it seems like ha Rooks is happy to be alive. Hi, Rooks. Oh, so yeah. Um, he did pretty good last night, surprisingly. Uh, a little different than Monty. Um, anytime I made a noise, he kind of shut up. So anytime I roll the flip sides, for the most part, Monty will just lay there and just pass out on his side until he's ready to shift sides and then he'll get up and he'll sit up until uh, I s like move it for him. Ruger on the other hand was uh, he would just like get up at any time made a noise and then I would like get I would uh, try to adjust him and he didn't really want to adjust he was just like you know checking in on me. So I, I checked on him an extra amount of times, so that's not pretty good, but I definitely got up a quite a few times checking on the old rugs there, but he did it. He stayed in the sleeping bag. That was his first time sleeping in the tarp. He didn't really like having his face down here, but he got used to it by the end, and now he's just a, a rugi, a ruger. Hi, buddy. Hi, Rooks. Hi, Rooks. Oh, jeez. He's a wild animal in the mornings. Anyways, it's a winter wonderland out there. It finally turned to frosty snow. And all the trees are coated in a nice little fluffy layer of snow. Everything's got just a little, little snow on it. So it finally just, it just looks like a beautiful wintry wonderland out there. So... Let's get up and put on some layers and show you what this scene here looks like because it's just beautiful. Okay, let's do it. Well, hi, Rooks. Hi, Rooks. Come here. Hi. Oh, jeez. Come here, Rooks. Rooks, come here. Hi. Oh, jeez. Oh, don't you do that. Okay, no, no, no. I just want to say hi. I just want to say hi. Come here. I just want, I just want to say hi. Okay. 
I just want to say hi, Rex. Stop, stop barking at me. Hey. He's just so excited right now. He thinks saying hi is going to mean play stick. Here, Rooks. Hi, buddy. Come here, Rooks. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Hi. Come here. Don't bark at me. Don't bark at me. Oh, yeah. Hi. Oh. Oh, what is that? What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> What are these noises you're making, Rogues? Come here. Come here. Just say hi to me. Just say hi. I see ya. Come here. Come on. No, no, no. Don't do okay. All right. Fine. You get your way. Now you get the stick. Whoa. Hey. Simmer down. We don't want no injuries. You made it through the night, so we don't want you hurting yourself. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but it's definitely a wintry scene. We got snow up on the ridge pole. The, it, the shelter works better than I expected it to. Um, so last night, the snow is coming down at a little bit of an angle, so it's slightly getting on this edge, and I had my sleeping bag in my baby sack. Um, but as I turned, it was too constricting, so I decided to, since we're only doing one night, I pulled my sleeping bag out, just let it, it got a little snow on it, it's a little wet, but for last night, it was totally fine. If we were doing multiple nights, I probably wouldn't have done that. I would have dealt with it, my feet being tight on there. But I was like, yeah, what the heck? Oh, yeah. Let's get you a little, 360 action of what this here looks like right now, okay? 360 action. Rooks, bring me that stick. Go ahead. Oh, see. Well, that was just straight up road. Go ahead. Go ahead, Rooks. All right, bring it here. Thank you. He's a psycho. It's official. <laughs> ah. So yeah, it's supposed to keep snowing the rest of the day today. Uh, possibly into tonight, but definitely not any sort of accumulation that was crazy. It looks like we only got a couple inches, really. I mean, it snowed all day yesterday. All, it's all night and we've got like a couple inches to show for us. I, th I think it's finally fluffy snow that's accumulating. This must have just happened in the past few hours because it was just really not accumulating. I suppose I'm gonna keep throwing room to stick here. <sighs> and then I'm gonna get packed up. Yeah, we're gonna get all packed it up. Better find that stick, Rooks. Rooks is a little more prompt on the fetch versus Monty. Monty likes to mess with you. He'll, he'll grab that stick, he'll bring it back to camp, and he'll thrash it around, and he won't bring it back to you. Rooks likes to keep on going with it until he starts to get into a fit of eating snow. Oh, oh, you gotta put it in my hand. No, nope, in my hand, in my hand. There you go, good boy. Hey, watch your step there. Okay, let's start packing up some stuff. Bring it to me. Bring it here.
we'll save this rat's nest for another day. All right, bring it here, rogues. Jeez. He's just faithfully sitting by his stick and just excitedly shaking, waiting for me to throw it for him. The old rogues shake. Yeah, I see ya, buddy. I see ya. I see ya, mister. I see ya, mister. Get! So I had a pool of water on the back side of my tarp. So, uh... This frame definitely helped. Otherwise my tarp would have been sagging like crazy. Plane rugs? You hear the plane? Or do, is all you hear the sound of me not throwing you the stick? I don't know. For such a smart dog, how come you haven't learned that if you just bring it right to me, I'll throw it? You keep holding it over there and then whining it. This thing? You want, what do you want me to do with this? Throw it for the millionth time? Well, you know, I wish that's all I desired. You know, if that's all I ever desired was a person to throw me a dead piece of wood over and over again. I mean, life would be so simple. Think about it. If all you wanted was to just stick, someone throws it, you bring it back, and you are perfectly content, and that is just your life's desires are meant your dreams, that's, that, that's, the, that's his dreams. He's living the dream right now. I mean, keep it simple. You know, I would, I would give sh uh, Chase and the Stick a try, but this don't sound good for my back right now. You know, crawling on all fours, and my teeth, ugh. How can you even do that? Whew. It's chilly once you take off all your layers. Yeah, so my gloves are surprisingly pretty dry. I uh, put them next to the fire for a while last night. And uh, yeah, just uh, let them roast by the fire even though they're getting snowed on still. It was drying them out a little bit quicker than the amount of snow that was getting on there. And then I stuck them in my sleeping bag. And they're still a little wet, but my body heat dried them out pretty good. And now the insides are definitely not wet. Oh, oh I need this. Smokey dokes. So, we had a fun little evening night last night. Hey, Rogues, come here. Did you get your stick sessions in? Did you lose that stick? Come here. Come on. Hi. Yeah, okay. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah, he had fun. This was the first successful little winter camp for Rugs. Well, not his first winter camp, but his first official tarp Monty style. His first Monty style winter camp where he got to be the role of Monty sleeping in a pad, laying on a tarp or a pad. Anyways, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. We had fun. We ate some good food. That burger was so good last night. I could eat one of those right now. Ooh. Mm. It was definitely a mess but it was, that, was, that was a good stick to your ribs style burger. Anyways, it's time to get back to the car. So as always, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys at the next video. Come on Rooms, let's go.
those three holes right there were my tripod and my camera, and that's my tire tracks when I drove away leaving my camera behind and I came to the realization in the car that I probably just ran over my camera and came sprinting back, but luckily <laughs> I didn't turn when I left and it was sitting near the back. Whew, just had a mild heart attack. Well, this is what happens when you go down a questionable two track after a wet snow and there's trees laying over and you decide to just go for it and one of them catches into your passenger side handle. There's a big old dent here and it cracked this and luckily it still works. Gotta think positive, right? It still works. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs>